So, not only was the elixir a lie, but everything else was too! Up, buddy nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Hell's Paradise Sugar Karaku chapter 113. So, yeah, Yuji gave us a huge mindfuck last week. Uh, last chapter we found out what the real story is, what's really going down. And this whole thing was not Grandmaster, nah, Grandmaster, long since dead. He's been dead for a long ass time. Nah, this was all about his wife, Rain, who, who real body, is uh, holifying slowly, ever so slowly. And um, the Rain that we've been seeing is a puppet. Yeah, she's a puppet. And all the Tensons are basically created by her. And um, what she's been researching this whole time, and even the elixir to an extent. And it, this is why she kind of said the elixir was kind of pointless. Um, because she all she was trying to do was bring her husband back to life. And remember, her soul's long gone. Husband's soul's long, long gone. And um, the research she was trying to do was about bringing the soul and personality back. So now that she's figured out how to do that, going to the mainland getting all the tan and bringing him back. But I will say this in regards to the soul research though and personality research. It does tie in to what we've been seeing in the manga, which is um, in regards to uh, Gabi Maru's personality and his soul, like bringing him back from the brink of death. We saw that. And then we are kind of seeing what's going on with Chobe and, um, and Toma. We're seeing that too. But at least we now know how to kill uh, kill Rain. We can kill Rain. All we have to do is kill the main body. Rain's gone. She gone. Um, but we got to do it fast because um, Rain's very close to the mainland. She's two hours away. Right, keys? Right, keys? Anyway, let's get to this chapter. See what UG has in store for us this week. We only got two hours? Give me a break. It's gotta be a trap, yeah? Um, I do not know. Uh, I do not know. Yeah, sure. I want Rain to sail away, and yet, um... Oh my god. I want Rain to sail away, and yet I want to stop her. It is a paradox. Even I cannot understand it. What say you, May? Uh, what should be done? No time to lose, Flower Girl. The answer is not gonna just come to us, so instead ponder that question while we hightail it. Human, as a parting gift, I shall tell you of the Ching, uh, of the, uh, I Ching results. I what now? Divination rooted in the Book of Changes. Sure, sure, that fortune telling crap. Oh, God, I love you, Zaria. We tend to use I Ching to determine our actions, and I found traces of one such ritual in Rain's chamber. To be precise, several burnt talismans, only a hint of Tao remained on them, but I could distinguish the yin from the yang. Most likely, two of Yang Tao and one of Yin Tao will be the only survivors! Wait, what? So two of Yang Tao and one of Yin Tao will be the only two survivors. Huh? Y Yang Tao? Yes. That, uh, that is to say, two men and one woman! Oh my god. So who's going to survive this? Hmm. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Um, I Ching relies on names to foresee fate. Those of unknown name cannot be included, and Rain herself may, may be among those counted. But know this, the art of I Ching does not lie. Oh, shit. Hold on, is Shugen even among those anymore? No! Shugen's dead! So... This com... Th wait, this right here confirms that Chobe is alive! For now! Chobe is alive for now. But... Hmm... I 
I got a feeling something. Oh my god, I really am gonna be sad that she. I got a feeling Shion's gonna die. I really do. Um. Anyway, main sanctum flo uh, floodgates entrance. I swear to God, if Yuzuriha dies, and oh God, please don't tell me Sagarin's. I swear. Yuji, if Sagarin lives, I'm going to be so fucking pissed. Don't do that to me. I'm begging you, please just kill Sagarin. Please. I know, I know, I know. I, I, I shit on Sagarin a lot, but... Oh, God. If this is true, just kill Sagarin and leave Yuzuriha. Uh, or, fuck, just... Just don't let Sagarin be the one to survive. I, I swear, I will be so pissed if Sagarin survives. He's a rehab. May, thank goodness. Where are the uh, Where are the others? Kintensusai seems to have run on ahead to the floodgates. Shortly uh, after we heard what sounded like a ship departing, perhaps he made it aboard. Oh, if he made it aboard, he's done. He's gonna die. Um, and the Asa brothers have yet to join us. We, uh, we can't delay at this point. Let's move. We mustn't. I'll go alone if I gotta. Uh, but, Sagiri, um, I'm, pl uh, I'm plenty worried about Sir Shugan myself, but we can always return to the island after stopping the enemy ship. As for the brothers, uh, they may be scheming to disappear peer into hiding on, um, on their own. I suppose so. A sailing ship speed. Wait. Hold on a second. So Isuzu's not on, Isuzu's not on here. Wait a minute, so, does that mean Isuzu's gonna die? Hmm. But we could, uh, where am I? Come on. So. Oh, here we go. A sailing ship's speed is affected by the size of its sails and weight of its cargo. The ship we're after is slowed down by what what's ha uh, what it's hauling, so um, we can catch we can catch up in a lighter craft with bigger sails. Let's be and before I continue, let's be real. Jika is gonna die. Oh, I know Jika's gonna die. He is. He ain't surviving this. No fucking way. Jika is gonna die. Uh, like, cause something that I got a feeling is gonna go down is we're gonna get Shion versus Jika. Oh, yes we are, and they're going to like, weaken each other to the point where Jika's gonna get close to dying. And then whoever fights Jika after that is gonna kill him. But yeah, how do you know, um, the ship we're after slowing down by what it's hauling, we can catch up in a lighter craft with bigger sails. How do you know about junk like that, Jika? Well, I was in bed with Matsu from the fishery and <laughs> that tale is not for children's ears. Let's just hope there's a, a still a boat we can use. Uh, we're done for. Oh, no. Look, there's still one ship left. Yes, but I hear no flowing water. The wreckage extends to the very bottom of the channel and blocks our way. No. Don't just kill Rain's main body. No, after all we've been through, it can't be. There must be something. Nope, no way around it. It'd take a whole day to move all this crap. What's he? What's Gabby Maru doing? Gabby Ma, um, Gabby Maru. Impossible, even for you. We gotta rethink our goal from step one. Rethink? No, I only have one goal, and no matter what stands in my way, I refuse to give up. Um, Sagiri. Oh, so heavy. Oh, mm. let me help. Only two guys and one gal are surviving this. What say you, May? What should be done? Hang on, you. What are you up to? No way. Don't even try it. Your body can't come back from that. Didn't you want to talk to Rain and Jafuku? No! Everyone, get on the ship! I shall clear the way! So May, I figured May was gonna die. So May is definitely dying. She's de she's gone. But so, Oz, so are the Oz brothers? 
Arthur's really gonna stay behind? Are they really gonna stay behind? For real? I feel like Chobe and Toma, if, if that's the case, then Chobe and Toma are done. They, I think they're gone. Unless, unless you're gonna bring Chobe back, which you, 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 you're teasing me right now. You really are. Because it really seemed like you, that you were bringing Chobe back based on what was happening a couple, a couple of weeks ago. So what's going on? I'm confused. But I know everyone's going to say Gabby Morrow is going to be the one man to survive, but I don't know. I don't know if he is going to be the one to survive because of, um, because he, uh, because of the hybrid shit. I don't know. Um, because, um, unless he's got, I, I don't know. The thing is, is with Gabby Maru, um, and this is making the case for Gabby Maru surviving is because when he fought Shija, Remember, near the end of that fight, he was able to gain, regain control of his uh, healing. So that's the argument for Gabby Maru being able to um, to live. Content aside, he is straight up dying. He is. And what I want to see from that, Yuji, when Content aside dies, I want to see him reunite with Fuchi. Since you ain't bringing Fuchi back, I'm going to see Content aside reunite with Fuchi. That's what I want. That's what I want. I'm hoping next week we're going to see, um, uh, the Aza brothers come. I really do. Oh, and it says two men. That's, so two men. So we got two men that are going to live. So, hmm, I, don't, I still don't know if Jika going to survive this one. Even though Jika is OP as fuck. He is OP as shit. I just, based on what we saw a while back, and this is with, um, uh, the, uh, this is during the Aza brothers fight. Remember what they said about Jika being a sneaky little bastard? I'm telling you, Jika's gonna be endgame. Oh, yes, they, uh, Jika is definitely gonna be endgame. He is. Jika, I'm calling it now. After we're done with Rain, Jika's gonna be next. And Jika gonna die. But yeah, Gatetsusai is definitely dying. I really don't want Shion to die, but I just got this feeling that Shion's going to die. And I think how Shion's going to, Shion is going to die either at Rain's hand or Jika's hand. That, it's going to be one of those two. The only reason why I don't think it would be, part of me doesn't, part of me wants to say it's going to be more so on Reigns than Chica's is because um is because Shion doesn't want to be an awesome on anymore. He don't want that shit. So so I think Chica will just leave Shion alone. It's the only reason why I'm just like hmm maybe maybe Chica maybe Chica won't go after Shion. But I don't know. The other thing is, uh, what about, uh, then we got the shit going on with the Aza brothers. I feel like this right here is kind of, this right here kind of confirms that, um, that, uh, Chobe is coming back to life, which was what we were speculating, um, when, uh, we were speculating that last week when, um, when we got the reveal about the research and we saw that um we saw that uh Toma remember a couple weeks back we saw Toma holding something and we thought that was um Chobe's heart but I think that was um Chobe's uh well we theorized that, that was Chobe's ovule so I'm thinking that maybe next week Chobe will we'll see Chobe and uh Toma we got it. If they're gonna leave, we gotta see if, especially if uh, Aza and if the Aza brothers are coming. Um, especially if the Aza brother. If you're telling me Yuji, the Aza brothers are coming into play here. We're gonna see, especially if you're telling me Chobe's coming back to life. Um, we're gonna see them. 
We're going to see them here. Because I feel like in order to beat Rain, we're going to need Chobe. Oh, yeah, we're going to need Chobe. I just got this feeling that the Oza Brothers... No matter what, I think the Oza Brothers are going to die. I think so. Whether they're there or not, I think they're going to die. I really do. And that sucks. But I think if the Oza Brothers um, come with us... And they, they're going to die... I, I got a feeling if they do come with us... What we're going to see is we're going to see them die at more so at uh, by Jika's hand more than um, more so than rain. That's what I kind of want to say more. Uh, that's what I really want to think because of, of the foreshadowing we got. But like, uh, but you can also make the argument that um, because of all the shit that rain did to uh, to Chobe, that Chobe's got some business to uh, business to settle with um with rain so it could be either way but i kind of i really kind of if if the chobe brothers are going to go out i really kind of want to see them go out against jika more than uh than rain because that way it makes even more sense to me but i'm curious what you guys think who's going to survive from the men from the women i really don't obviously may is out of the running she gonna die I really want it to be Yuzuri had to survive, but I don't think it's going to be her. I really don't want, I really just don't want it to be Sagarin. Please just kill her. Kill Sagarin. I'm begging you. I'm just, uh, you just kill Sagarin, please. I don't want her to be the one to survive. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys um, thought of this chapter. Now that we know um, there's going to be only two men and one woman um, surviving from these, I, I don't know what is going to go on with the, with, you know, the rest of them, especially like Isuzu, but... Because why weren't they included? That's the thing I'm curious about. Why weren't they included? Are they going to die? We think they're going to. But... Especially, like, why wasn't Shugen included? That's one thing. Oh, I think I understand why Shugen and them were not included. Because Rain didn't know their names at the time. That's why. Okay, now that I, th I figured that, uh, it just hit me. That's why. Rain didn't know their names at the time. That, that's why. Okay, so I'm really curious what you guys think. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more. Um, uh, oh, before that, before I forget, the other thing that it could be in regards to the Oza Brothers, since they're not here, because this is because um, Yuzuriha hasn't seen the Oza Brothers yet, is this could... Pro this, the other thing this could mean is that Chobe and Toma are already dead but uh, just based on a couple of chapters ago i don't think that's the case but anyway let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like comment share and subscribe to nerdy Inc. if you love what i'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so i can keep bringing you more hell's paradise shika karaku content there's a few ways you could do that you can donate to my cash app paypal patreon purchase something off my amazon wish list all that's in the description box below also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later.